Hello guys, today I would like to show you how to install Kali Linux on Android devices. First you should have the rooted device, then you can go to Play Store and uh, install the Linux Deploy app. Just search for Linux Deploy and you can see. You can install this application, then also the VNC Viewer. There is other type of VNC viewer, but I prefer uh, this one. Also, you should have uh, installed the BusyBox. You should install BusyBox from the Mythic. And this one, because other one, uh, there may you may encounter error, error. So once you download and install those apps, you need to choose the storage either you can install on the phone or the SD, SD card it's better to install an SD card I kept uh, 64 GB just before we install we need to format the SD card to storage just unwound the SD card With rotation tool, you can choose the XT2 uh, file. So, because if you choose the other file system, so you may encounter errors. So, it's much better to choose the XT2 then format. Now it starts to format, so it will take a bit time. So I'll get back to you later. So it's ready now. So now you can go to the settings, storage, choose the right disk for SD card. Okay. So now 59 GB available. Also, by the way, you should have the USB debugging function uh, turned on on the developer's options. Just go to developer options. You can see USB debugging. Just make sure it's on also. So now we go to Linux Deploy app. <coughs> so, here distribution, you will check the Kali Linux suite. I choose the Senna. Then for the installation path, the SD card uh, installation path. You can write that one. Also the, the components. You can take the X servers. Okay. And for the graphics. Here you need to change width and the height to the op opposite side. Twenty. Okay. It's updating done. Now just install. So now it will take a bit time. So we'll continue later. So now it's finished download downloading the main image file. So it will start now to download the other files. So usually it will take up to like 15-20 minutes, depends on your internet connection.
So once it's done, just go to settings, the press the reconfigure. Then start. Okay. So now we can open the VNC viewer. Add new connection. Type local host and any name. Change me the default password. This is it. If you go below, you can connect to your Wi Fi network. Then go to the menu. Open the terminal and you can just uh, update. Tap on top for the keyboard. This update. After that, you can install the remaining uh, meta packages. If you go to Kali website, just uh, check the meta packages. Yeah, that's it. Just tap on tap on top. Then disconnect. So you can go to Linux deploy and press stop. So if you want to connect again, just tap the start then that's it so after that the VNC through the VNC viewer you can connect again thanks for watching if you have any questions you can leave one comments